there's a lot of confusion and some very strong opinions about vaccines. We're here to provide the facts. How do vaccines work? Vaccines supply a weakened version of a known pathogen directly into the body in order to spur our natural immune response to build an immunity to that disease. By triggering our immunity in a mild version, they ensure that we are protected against the real, more dangerous version of the disease. They further function to protect the community, as the more people are vaccinated, the better they work to ensure the disease doesn't spread among its most vulnerable members. Some vaccines cause mild, short-term symptoms, such as low-grade fever, but these are signs that the immune system is bolstering itself against that particular disease. It means it's working. Are vaccines safe? Because some people say they cause autism or death. Vaccines are completely safe. In fact, they're the only way to protect your child from getting certain life-threatening or disfiguring diseases. Vaccines do not cause autism. This was a crazy rumor started by a now discredited doctor, which has been disproven again and again by a mountain of studies involving millions of vaccinated children. Vaccines also do not cause mercury-linked developmental delays. Nearly 20 years ago, a harmless type of mercury was used in vaccines, but because of public misunderstanding and outcry, since 2000, vaccines have been made without it. Like all medication, vaccines can be dangerous if they're expired or improperly stored, or if they're administered improperly, like, say, giving an oral vaccine as an injection or vice versa. But if so many people are saying there could be a problem, maybe I should just stay on the safe side? There's only one safer side here, and that's the one where the entire world's population is inoculated against life-threatening diseases. Haven't we eradicated some of these diseases already? Why are we giving kids unnecessary vaccines? Vaccines work by strengthening your body's immunity to effectively fight a particular pathogen. When you hear of a disease being eradicated, it's not because the pathogen no longer exists. It's because people have been vaccinated and therefore are not getting sick. If other kids are vaccinated, my kid won't catch anything, so why should I vaccinate my kid? Something called herd immunity does protect unvaccinated children from diseases, but it only works when the vast majority of the community is inoculated. So in theory, if your child is the only one in town not vaccinated, they won't get sick. The problem is that the more parents choose not to vaccinate their children, the more likely it is that deadly diseases make terrifying comebacks. This is already happening in some communities in the world where entire groups of parents have decided not to vaccinate. The results are clear. Dramatic rises in child infection and mortality. There's so many vaccines, even for some trivial diseases like chickenpox or the flu. Do kids really need them all? Yes. And so-called trivial diseases in childhood, like chickenpox, can cause serious complications later in life. The flu is getting increasingly deadly every year. Protecting against these diseases is an important part of raising a healthy child. The schedule calls for a lot of shots all at the same time. Can I just space them out a bit? Look, we get it. The idea of fewer needles is appealing. But there's absolutely no proof that an overload of vaccines has any negative impact on children's health. You know what there is proof of? That delaying the next dose makes kids vulnerable to infection. There are a lot of conspiracy theories out there about vaccines. But you wouldn't believe the Earth was flat or that climate change isn't real either. Hopefully. Medical science is as clear on this fact as almost anything else. Vaccines protect children from life-threatening diseases. So shoot them up. <laughs>